I personally have supported President Museveni on that bill. And this is a point, this is an issue on which we'll have different opinions. The regime of rights which we are being asked to follow is a regime of rights that was imposed by the Western world in 1948, the Universal Declaration of Human Rights. When the Universal Declaration of Human Rights was being initiated in Paris, no African country was independent. And at that time, they say the civil and political rights were the most important. Then they said that uh, economic and cultural rights were important. Then they say development rights. Now they say all rights are interdependent and therefore they are universal. But we must ask ourselves the fundamental question. Don't we have rights that are uniquely African? And on the question of this idea of being told periodically by the Western world that these are the rights that we must deal with, it is incumbent upon us to come out very clearly. When the white man came here and imposed laws on us, whether it's the common law, or the Dutch Roman law, they told us at that time that there is something called sex against the order of nature. Has nature changed? So we must be very slow to personalize laws. We must be very slow. And these arguments that they bring about bills relating to LGBTQ, they'll never say them to the Arabs. They'll never go to Kuwait. They'll never go to Bahrain. They'll never go to Brunei. They'll never go to Saudi Arabia. They'll never go to Indonesia to tell them. It is Africans who they think are tales to be wagged. So on this issue, by the government of the Uganda and the people of Uganda, I am with them a hundred percent. There is no freedom outside of the law. How do you balance, uh, balance the decision or the uh, right to choose? Choose what? The choice must be limited according to the mores of a different community. And in any event, should we be talking about LGBTQ when we have no food on the table? And the danger, including with you journalists, is that now when you interview people, you have your own position that you want to impose on us. We refuse. In the United Nations Human Rights Council. But the United, no, but the United, United Nations Human Rights Council, is it some god? Is it not a body that is composed of human beings who have created a body where some are permanent members and some are not permanent members? Remember, in matters of morality, numbers don't matter. It is the mores. You may disagree with me, but I'm telling you without batting an eyelid and unapologetically that some of us oppose LGBTQ and you who are anchors. We are, I'm now telling you because I've seen it with other anchors from other parts of the world. You have a position and you want to impose on us. We refuse. Yours is to midwife to ensure that my views, if others have a different view, you go and interview them. But from where I sit, I oppose LGBTQ with every ounce in my life.